we're living in an era of huge population growth. It took until 1804 for there to be one billion people on the planet. By 1927, that figure had doubled. In just over 30 years, it hit three billion. Then look how quickly it rose to four, five, six, and now seven billion. The world's population is growing by 200,000 people a day. Lack of space shouldn't be a problem. If everyone lived in one megacity, the density of Paris, then in theory, the entire population of the planet could fit into France with room to spare. So will our numbers keep rising? Almost certainly yes for several decades. More people are in their reproductive years than ever before. More children survive thanks to better health care and sanitation. And people are living longer. The UN's best estimate is there will be 8 billion people by 2025, 9 billion by 2050, and 10 billion by the end of the century. A higher UN prediction has the population at nearly 16 billion by 2100. Much of the increase will be driven by poor countries in sub-Saharan Africa, many already with inadequate food and water. In the next 40 years, Ethiopia could see its population rise from around 80 million to 145 million. Contrast that with Germany. A similar population to Ethiopia now, but this could fall to 75 million by 2050. Indeed, there is a scenario that sees the world's population falling. The UN's lower estimate for 2100 is just over 6 billion people, a billion fewer than there are now. Why? Well, global fertility is already falling. In 1950, women on average had five children each. It's now down to two and a half. Small variations in fertility could have a big effect on population size in the future. In much of the world, including Brazil, Europe, Russia, Japan, even China, fertility has fallen so much that populations are reliably predicted to fall later this century. But whatever the long-term projections, for the coming decades, we can expect more and more people on the planet way beyond the seven billion milestone we're now passing.